Hey, welcome back friends. Today's project is to clear out this box elder tree that fell. It looks like it blew over in a storm. Right there is where I'm gonna be cutting it. Probably prune it off over there. And it goes about 40 feet to the very end right there. It's definitely gonna take a ladder to get up there, so I decided to use the power pruner. This is the Echo PPT 280. We're gonna see if we can use this for the majority of the cleanup. So are you limited to just trimming branches with this or can you take on a big project like this? I'm gonna put a time lapse on and we'll find out. So before I do the actual cutting, I'll take you on a quick little walk around so you can kind of see what all I'm going to be cutting. So right there, I'm going to eventually cut that. While it's suspended up in the air, it's going to be a lot easier to trim the branches and then do that towards the end. So we're going to walk this way about 40 feet so you can kind of see what all is going on there. A lot of smaller branches towards the end. That's the uh, top of the tree. And right to that picnic table. It looks pretty substantial. It goes up pretty high. And we'll go this way and see. So I think the power pruner will work really well on some of this stuff. I do have that lower stuff there. I'm not so sure about the sticker stuff up here. But we'll do what we can. And then I have another chainsaw. I'll probably try to drop that if I can. I'll spend a little more time with the power pruner and then when it's on the ground use the other chainsaw. It has a 16 inch bar for that stuff. All right, I'm gonna walk underneath it. All right, I'm gonna set this camera on the tripod, do a time lapse, and we'll get started. In the last time lapse, I got my pull saw stuck in the very top up there, and I ended up having to use this battery powered 58 volt 16 inch bar chainsaw. So now we're gonna try round two. I had to adjust the chain on the pull saw over there. It's good to go. All right, let's go to round two. So the 58 volt had to cut me out twice when I pinched the blade of this right here. So sometimes you can try to be very careful, but you just never know, like in a huge pile, which way the pressure is going. So glad to have two saws. So here's the result. Probably about two 15 minute periods going through and cutting everything. So you can see the power pruner did cut through that piece right there. Nice job. Several pieces of firewood. All on one tank, there's still fuel left in it. So the initial premise of this video is to see if you could get by with this instead of a chainsaw 
for some bigger projects? And the answer is yes. So hopefully this video will demonstrate how resourceful the power pruner is. So if you have any questions, please put those down below. If you find this video interesting and informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching. See you next time. If you like this video, I think you might like a few other videos over there to the right, so please click on those. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that button down below. If you wanna check out what I'm doing throughout the week, please connect with me on Twitter and Instagram. All right, friends, enjoy.